Miami neighborhood awoke to the realities of a major league soccer stadium possibly rising in their backyard. There was a town hall meeting tonight and there was definitely a lot to talk about. CBS 4's Hank Tester live in Overtown with more. Hank. Yeah, plenty to talk about. The county says that they will not tear down the housing development here to make way for a garage, a parking garage for David Beckham's stadium. But locals here aren't so sure. Let's take a look. Does Dade County HUD powers that be have plans in the mix at any level to demolish this property to replace it with a parking lot or anything that will be beneficial to the soccer stadium or to the Beckham group? Put it in right. Yes, yes, you want it right. A fired up crowd from the Comer Place public housing facility. It's located right next door to where David Beckham is proposing to build his Overtown soccer stadium. Residents Leary, just after the announcement came that Beckham had been granted a franchise, notices appeared on the doors of Comer Place, appearing to be eviction notices. They were fakes. Listen, we say we're sorry, but there was a greater good that uh, was at foot. It was not to alarm you, it wasn't to scare you, but it was to get your attention. Those fake notices did not go down well with the residents nor with the county housing director. I was outraged, I was disappointed uh, that um, somebody, some group would misinform uh, our residents. The fake eviction notices took their toll, evident at the community meeting. I, mean, I don't want people to be displaced from their homes. Beckham Stadium plans call for minimal parking, and that leaves these folks suspicious. The county housing boss speaking to CBS 4's David Sutta. Do the folks at Comer Place have anything to worry about? No. But those who live here not buying that. I think in the long run, they're going to skittle and scattle, and, and eventually all of this is going to be parking lot. Well, this group will get together once again February the 12th. They feel this issue is not over with. That's the very latest tonight. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.